Hi, I'm Gloria. Welcome to the channel. I'm one of the new vloggers. Um, a few things about me. I'm a plant mom. I'll show you my plants. Um, I'm a dog mom and I miss him with my whole heart and I really like space. So I'm a part of Mars Colony, um, which is a UBC design team. I also am obsessed with moomins. I think they're so cute. So I've got a couple moomins in my room here with me. <laughs> so midterm season is upon us. I just had one a couple days ago, and I've had two more before that, and then I have one in two weeks. And yeah, it's really hard because there's so much homework, and it's hard finding time to study for midterms while getting all your assignments complete. But luckily, UBC offers loads of midterm resources. So I'm just gonna like talk about a few of them so that if you have a midterm coming up, you can go and use these resources because honestly, they're really great and they're really helpful. So, the first one is AMS Tutoring. This isn't necessarily a midterm resource because it's year-round. So they have tutoring from Monday to Thursday at The Nest, um, I think from 7 a.m. till 3 p.m. But depending where you go, it can be more or less busy. So The Nest one, um, the tutors have told me, is like the busiest one that you can go to. But they also come to the residences, which I didn't know. I was walking through my um, residence common block getting ice cream because I couldn't get like my homework done and I was just, you know, not having a good time. I wanted ice cream and I walked by and I saw tutoring and honestly it was a lifesaver. I went in and I showed them the question I was having problems with and I got one-on-one -on -one tutoring help with the tutor and it was great. So AMS tutoring, number one, amazing. Okay, so the next thing, US prep sessions. So they don't have tutoring for every subject like AMS does, but um, if there's a major exam, they'll have a night where you can go um, into this big room and they give everyone a little booklet. That's like an exam practice booklet and you can write it there and they have upper year students walking around to if you have questions, you can ask them and they can help you through your work. Also, there's free pizza, so that's always fun. One thing I did notice though is that the Practice questions on the EUS exams were a lot harder than the practice questions on the um, exams that the teachers themselves posted. So if you really want to challenge yourself, it's good, but I will warn you, it's going to be a little bit harder than what you're probably used to doing. And so it was kind of scary, <laughs> but like, it's fine. It's fine. So practice exams that the teachers post on their canvases Canvas is the website that everyone has to use here if you're not currently enrolled in UBC. Um, those are really handy as well. They let you know exactly what kind of questions will be on the exam, what the level of difficulty will be like. Because like I said, with other systems that aren't necessarily like associated with the teachers, the questions might be a little different than how your specific teacher will do them. So it, it really depends on the teacher how many they post. But if your teacher has posted them, go look at them because that is the best insight that you'll get onto your actual exam. Another thing that you can do that is actually directly related to your teachers is um, homework sessions or office hours. So homework sessions are, um, they have them twice a week for my physics, I know. You go in with your homework and there are TAs there and you just do your work there. And if you have any questions, you can put up their hand and they'll come to you and help you out. And that's not just an exam thing that happens throughout the year. And office hours are when you actually go in and speak to your prof in person. So I went to my math office hour just yesterday um, and I had already written my math exam and I had my mark back and I just wanted to go over the exam with my teacher and she went over every single question with me. She told me where I went wrong and what I should do moving forward. I hadn't gone to office hours before my midterm, but like she was really helpful, so I probably should have, but I can go now before the final. I can go in between if I'm ever having trouble with my work and talk to my actual teacher. Um, so that's really handy as well. So I think I've covered all of the exam preparation events or resources that you can use. Yeah, if you have any questions, please ask us in the comments. Um, I'd be happy to help you out, me or any of the other people on my team. And good luck on all your exams. You'll do great. Just make sure to study. And I'll see you later. Bye.